I just had on the default. So, so did, that happened to me the other day uh -huh. too. I was like, what is going on? Apparently I have to tell it that I want to use my mic. <laughs> so stupid technology. Now, you know, Zoom, it's a whole new world for everyone. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. It's so funny. Like, I mean, I used to use Zoom a little bit. And then this past year, it's like our whole lives are on this. I know. Program. It's a weird yeah, I'm trying to navigate that whole. I know. Kind of feel. I know. It's, I mean, even people that like, you know, people that maybe are elderly or everybody's using it. People that you wouldn't even think would be very computer savvy or. Oh, well, I know that the whole like legal system is online now, like all of your court hearings. And I'm like, how does that work? It just feels weird. I know. I like something that's, that. that's, me. that's kind of bizarre, but I guess, I don't know, technology, you gotta do what you gotta do. I guess keeping things um, moving. That's right. I like your wood wall behind you. That's super cool. Uh, this is a much better background than my actual office. So I have moved everything to my kitchen table because I have the day to myself. And this is much prettier and easier for me to clean than the disaster that is my office. So oh, hey, it's all a facade. That's good. You gotta have that <laughs> nice Zoom background. Yep. It's, it's all lie. The whole thing. Just coffee mugs. That's all you need to know. <laughs> awesome all right well we've never met before like in person whatever you yeah want. I I know it's a weird weird like you know you say like oh my friends from online and everyone's like is that a th and like that's a thing now and you just kind of go with it and mm -hmm. no one questions it anymore but before that was like such a strange thing yeah you feel like you're you're they're not real now you feel like you're they're real friends I mean you can like see people and I know it's so funny because my sister her and her husband have been together for uh, 11 years or so but they met online okay like many many years ago so that was when meeting someone online and like dating someone online was like taboo yeah and she was in high school and you know it, so they've been together for many many years and wow. he lived in California she lived in Ohio oh, and they kept their relationship alive for 10 years and now they're married so it's so like just bizarre online it works. Uh, it's it just does. weird. It does. It's got its pros and its cons. There's things that for like, sure, for you know, sure, are bad, but we gotta take the good with the bad, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about planners. So let's start off with just kind of how I've been doing it. Did you watch the one with Barb? I, I did. I did. Right. I watched that. Um, sort of half. I <laughs> have yeah, my son. A, yeah. So. so basically kind of, a, I mean, it's just like a, like a conversation. We'll just chat about planners, mm -hmm. all this stuff. So since I don't really know you or how you use your planner, whatever, mm -hmm. first off, tell me a little bit about like yourself, like what you do, do you have kids? Where do you live? Like what's your lifestyle like? So that we have some context when we talk about planners. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I live in the Midwest. I'm in Ohio. I've been here my whole life. Uh, I live in Columbus. So a little bit more of like the bigger city kind yeah. of feel to it. Um, but I work in the food industry service as a server okay. at a um, privately owned company, uh, Cooper Talk Winery and Restaurant. So it's kind of a more modern, casual, upscale dining kind of facility. Um, so I've been serving for 10 years, 11 wow. years, a long time. Yeah. Um, so my planning style is kind of different because of that, because I don't get a, a paycheck. That's not a thing. Yeah. I haven't got a paycheck in like, 11 years. So, yeah. um, I keep track of my finances totally different from most people. Mm -hmm. So that's very different. Uh, it definitely reflects in my, in my planning style, but I don't know. I've had a planner for my whole life. I think, okay. <laughs> um, I just remember like I went to a private Catholic school and they would give us planners at the beginning of the year. Yeah. And I ha I've always had one. I grew up in a household where my mom had a calendar kept a planner. Mm -hmm. Like that has been my life. Keeping everything written down is who I am. Um, so I'm the person who will have six lists like laying around the house. Yeah. So that's just, that's just who I am. Yeah. Uh, always have been. So I've been in the planner game for a, a long time, I guess, but uh -huh. never really like, you know, I'm a lurker. I don't, I don't <laughs> post a lot or anything like that, but I'm, I'm the lurker. I'm in all the groups and I watch everything, but awesome. outside of that, I don't really, you know, um, actively engage in a yeah. lot of this stuff outside of like, um, your group. And then there's like two other ones that I kind of participate in okay. a little bit more. So, uh, but I've tried out planners for, and tried every size type custom, you know, all that, all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So what do you, yeah. what planner are you using right now? Are you, you're so, no, I'm in the inkwell. 
So oh, I'm in Inkwell. Well, okay. Yep. Yep. I have been, uh, I used Inkwell when they first started back when they used to do their A5 inserts. So okay, I've you've been, been with Inkwell for a long time too. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I actually have my 2017 coil bound. I found that the other day in a box. Really? So yeah, I was like pulling it out, looking through the color palettes and yeah. everything. Yep. Yep. So I, I still have that. It was rolling around. And then, um, I bought one, uh, last year for 2020, I was going to get back into that. I've been a five, um, ring bound before for okay. 2019 it was. Yeah. And then I decided to go back to inkwell in 2020. Well, then 2020 happened and yeah. I planned for the first, uh, two and a half months of the year. And then I was furloughed because of COVID from mid-March until almost end of June. So I didn't plan for that because I was stay at home. So I stayed with my son. So I didn't have anything going on with him. Yep. We weren't really leaving the house because he was younger and I didn't want to take him very many places. So outside of going to the grocery store, didn't really need to plan that. It was like, I went on Sunday and have to write that down, you know? So it was yeah. like, just one of those things. I didn't want to just write things down and plan to plan. Just cause, um, yeah. yeah, just cause. So I totally fell off the bandwagon in 2020. Even when I went back to work, I kind of just kept a little bit here or there, but I never really got back into it. So I got it for 2021 being like, I'm going to do it. We're going to go back to it. Cause we're back to work, you know, that kind of thing. So I've been in the inkwell, the vertical since okay, the beginning so of the vertical. year. Okay. Yeah. So, yep. Okay. So when, so you were a five ring. So how do you feel about the disc planner then? Do you like it? Do you um, not like it? I do actually, I didn't like the bulkiness that a like traditional a five binder would give you. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like with the disc bound, I keep a lot less in it. I only keep yeah. four months at a time. Okay. So I, I have all my like tabs and everything in. Yeah, let me see. So I kind of so have, I'm have literally planning out my month. So months I've got all my, okay. What's that? Yeah, I've got the tabs. So I've got all my tabs in there, but um, I only keep four months. A couple of, of months. So it's really thin. That's nice. Yeah. Comparison. And like, I just take out, like I'll take out January, February, March. And then when we're done with April, I'll take out that quarter I see. and kind of switch in and then move those. January, like those tabs mm -hmm. to the back. Okay. So they're not in the front taking up space. Yeah. They're just kind of like tucked in the back. And then I just kind of rotate through that way. And then I've got one of their really, uh, this one is, I think this is a happy planner. Oh, but okay, like, yeah. Cause uh, that's what fits in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just a like envelope a that I got. Folder. I tried a happy planner at one point. I've tried B6. I've tried A5. I've yeah. pocket, you name it. I've tried it. I don't really like any of them. Um, Inkwell seems to be the best size mm -hmm. for the amount of space I need. Okay. Yeah. To kind of write things down. Yep. So I have that in there and then I have, and this is something I posted in the group, but it's got my whole, my whole color code. Oh yeah. I do remember you did share that. Okay. Yeah. So this is something I kind of had written down on like a scrap piece of paper uh -huh. and then someone in the group was talking about it and they were like oh we'll show a picture of it and I was like I should probably actually like write this down somewhere where I know yeah. where it is so I did that um because I only really buy from like three mm -hmm. um sticker shops because I kind of have narrowed down what actually works versus what doesn't yeah. I don't do pretty planning I have to do functional. I don't care if it looks pretty and I get really <laughs> caught up in it. Yeah. Like making it, you know, the kits and all that. And it's like, yes. I wish I had that time. I wish yeah. I could do that, but it's not realistic. And then I get lost in the things I actually need to know about yeah. aren't there. Yeah. So I just skip it. So yeah, I've done that. Um, as far as Inkwell goes, I don't know. There's pros and cons to it. I've been with Inkwell for a really long time. Yeah. So I've seen the evolution of what Tanya's done with the company. Yeah. Um, what initially drew me to Inkwell was one, the size, and then the paper quality is pretty much bar none. Yes. And I originally started out being a stamper in oh, my so planner. And I, so yeah, yeah, so it was the only planner that had paper quality that you could mm -hmm. basically use any type of ink and not worry about too much shadowing or bleed yep. through. 
so, you know, that was kind of where I lived for the longest time. Cause they were the only one who could, yeah. who could do that. Yeah. Um, and now I've just kind of switched to stickers cause they're easier. It's a little yeah. less upkeep and things like that. So, so as far as that goes, that's kind of where I've lived and I've been trying out different things and, um, kind of figuring out what stickers are really functional for me now. Yeah. So, uh, like my January and February, there aren't many stickers. I hadn't really decided on what I was going to do yet. Um, but I was kind of keeping things like by color. If you can kind of see that in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I was kind of doing colors for things and so kind of breaking things up. Do you find that you like, so like now, so you've been with Inkwell for a while. So, you know, before mm -hmm. in the classic, there was no like division with those words, you know, there wasn't. Yeah. Do you I like don't it love better like words. this or do you like the old version better? Uh, so yes and no. I like that it's split because it kind of dictates where that split is for me. And I don't have okay. to think about how much space I need. Um, but the escalate, cultivate, accommodate that doesn't work for me. It doesn't apply to my lifestyle yeah, or anything no. like that. Yep. You know, I've read Tanya's book. I okay. think it's a great system. Um, it, I really, I have watched Tanya and her company grow over the last five or six years. I think what she's done is amazing with the company as a woman owned brand. Um, but I don't necessarily, I'm not an entrepreneur. I don't have my own business. It doesn't work for me to have sure. those kind of things. Yep. And my lifestyle doesn't make sense for those things either. Yes. So I don't really, yes. you know, I don't really need that, which is I buy your guys's cover up strips. Yeah. From yeah. the shop. I have those in my cart now. I actually am finishing up on my spring <laughs> sale. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still working on that. So don't worry. You'll see an email from me later. <laughs> You're so funny. Yeah. I mean, that's, that was the interesting thing with Inkwell with this past year when she made, wait, was it last year? Those, the words came out or was it this year? Uh, last year, last year, right? No, 2020 or was it 2019? What year is it now? 2021. I think it was 2020 when she did the words. Yeah. I'd have to go back and look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 2020. And yeah, thankfully we came up with those strips because so many people were really upset, you know, about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of, I can ignore them, but it's nicer that I don't have to because yeah. like I am doing, uh, so I, when I got my stickers in, uh, that's February, that's not what I'm looking for. So my last week of March, that we are currently in or finishing up on. Um, this is what my week looks like here. So this is my, this is oh, the okay. first half of my week. Yeah. So I have mine, I don't know if I can get this close enough or not. See. But I have- oh, So you kind of made your own- all, Yeah, so I have your strip and then I have a shop that I buy from. Um, she's an Australian shop cool. and I bought from her for a really long time. She makes these really, really tiny icons that fit perfectly in the lines. Yeah. She has like, I don't know, a couple hundred oh, different no, icons, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. yeah. So I can get exactly what I need. And I have, I mean, these are all of hers and I have. Oh yeah. Those are tiny. Can you hold those, it up closer? So so itty, itty, itty. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's basically so like those you are like on a line. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just do that, but my handwriting's not that pretty at that small. So I don't, I don't yeah. do that, but she's got like all sorts of like itty bitty icons. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. For all sorts of things. So I, and like, I have them color code, like this apricot kind of color are all my finance stuff. So it kind of draws attention to things like that. Um, like these are general. Okay. Like food. Are you with color um, coding? Are you, you know, car? Okay. So with your yeah. color coding system, how does it like, do you do it by like area of life? Are you doing it by like, if it's for you or for your son or for like how? Sort of. Yeah. So, um, like my son, um, like, so he's green. So I okay. use these tiny little handprints here oh, that's cute. for his being at the babysitter. So like, oh, that's clever. Um, yeah. yeah. So like right there where you he know. is yeah. for the day. So okay. he's there from that. And then we pay her on Mondays and I have that little denotion there. Um, so then his is green. So it's just like a little call out for that. Um, I was originally using colored pens, like all the friction pens, yeah. but that kind of got a little sloppy. Okay. So I tried to go to just black. Yeah. Um, 
just to be easier. Mm -hmm. I'm, I always, you know, it just seems to work better that way. Yeah. Um, and switching a pen every time was annoying. Kind of yeah. So, yeah. So I have them just in case I need them or like on the monthly spread, I'll use them. Okay. Um, so I'll use them there. Uh, but like my stuff is all purple. So okay. I have mine set up where the top section here is my work schedule. So like Mondays are my day off. Day off. Okay. And then if I'm working, like I'm working a double as a oh, server, we work yeah. like two shifts at a time. Right. Um, so I have two separate boxes to denote each shift. Oh, and then I keep track that. of what I make on so that shift and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I keep track of that um, partially for my own knowledge and then sure. for taxes too right. um we need to know that kind of stuff so that's on there and then anything that pertains to me i'll put in that top section as well so like i had oh god doing this in the I office yeah, I can see. so like i had appointments here yesterday yeah, sure. so like i had my nails i used your guys's little heart icon yeah. um and then i have um appointment icons that are in purple okay from my other shop and then I worked that evening. Okay. So, so, so I had top section so is all you. It's just all me. Yeah. Whatever. It's my work yeah. schedule or like personal, that kind of thing. Um, so I keep all that on there. So like my weekend, I put my weekend banner oh, there. I like that looks, and I yeah. happen to be oh, I happen to be working that weekend. Okay. So I'm off tomorrow and then I work. Gotcha. So I keep that kind of all there. And then the middle section, that kind of like bigger section yep. of the middle, I actually split. I see with that. a okay. little strip of washi. Yep. Um, and I, I have so many from over the years. So I just kind of went in there and found a couple that, you know, uh -huh. kind of work with what we have going on with color palettes. And I've kind of learned to uh, match up the Moxie Life colors a little bit. Like okay. the lighter colors actually match really nice with the ink wall yeah. press. Um, trying to make it a little bit easier because as much as I like the ink wall press colors, I don't want it to all be the same. And I kind of want there to be, I don't know, like an offset color, mm -hmm. if that makes Everything. sense. So, um, and I like to just buy all of the same color sheets. Like, so I don't I have to like everything. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't want to like switch it out from gradient from week to week. I want it to all be the I same. See. Okay. So the Moxie life colors work fine. I've get a full matched sheet. up. Yeah. A, equivalent ones to what I use for yeah. the ink wall or like what looks good. Right. So I've been doing that, um, with my orders. So I've got a, a decent little, you got a good little stack back from you guys. Yeah, yeah. I keep everything. I pulled it out of the office, but I have this just, Oh, that's cute. It's just, I don't even know where I got it. Probably target. Same yeah. Thing. Um, but I have all my pens and my midliners in here. Uh huh. And then this has like some random like no papers and things. Yeah. yeah. These are actually, um, they're just half sheet papers yeah. from happy planner. And I just put a little piece of washi over the top. And like this one happens to be a oh, that's grocery smart. list I like and that. just pop that in the middle. Um, so that's just random stuff and like bills that need to get paid. Sure. Um, that I have to mail out or pay attention to. I kind of just stick all that stuff in there. So and do just you kind of reconcile your, it at the end of the week. Do you bring your planner with you places or does it stay at home? It stays at home. Mm -hmm. It stays at home. Um, it sits on my desk. And then every yeah. night when I get home from work, I kind of do like a daily reconcile. Okay. And I kind of add things or look at what's going on tomorrow or add an appointment or something that I've scheduled, sure. that kind of thing. So um, I was doing that. And then I'm working actually on my monthly spread for April. Okay. So I've been doing that. And so I use my monthly to just like lay out all my bills. So I know when things are coming out. Mm -hmm. So I used, this is new for this month. I'm trying something different. Um, so I'm using your guys's just single line. Yep. Okay. And I just have what the bill is, just whatever happens yep. to be due. And then I've just been putting it down. Yeah. Sticking it down at the bottom, just so I know. Yes. And then I put my birthday in there and then, um, our babysitter is off on that Friday. So just a note to myself to remind me yeah. that that's yeah. going on. So I've just been doing that and just kind of sticking them down mm -hmm. where they are or where they're going to be due. 
So the monthly for you at a glance is mostly bills and then maybe like things you need to know. Yeah. A little notes here or there. Like my mom is going out of town at the end of, you know, so it's like, oh, hey, mom's going to be out of town. I need to check in. Um, She has someone who watches her, her pets. And so I usually will check in with her, that kind of thing. Uh Um, Or like her flight information. I'll put that in the little uh, side notes Mm -hmm. of the monthly, just to kind of have that information sort of thing. But I don't use my monthly for much else. Like I'll usually just lay down the stickers Mm -hmm. and that's it. I never really go back to it because it's also in my weekly. So I use my, um, like this is my bottom three boxes. Yeah. I use my, gosh, here we go. I can see it. Um, So I use like my top one for my meals and I lay down my stickers for the whole week. And then usually I fill it in as I go. We don't really meal plan per se. Sure. Um, if I do anything, I put it on this side. It's like, oh, here's some meal ideas for the week. I gotcha. I just throw them in there and it's like, oh, well, what do we have in the fridge that I can make up really quick? That makes quick? sense. Yeah. That's there. I don't have to think about it. Um, I'm not usually home for dinner yeah. most night. So I, I'm off in the mornings while my husband is working. Baby's usually at the babysitter. And then I work in the evenings right. and he's home with the baby. So, you know, we kind of split our days. So we yeah. don't see each other other than in passing. <laughs> so, yes. but that's just kind of where we are All right goes. now. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, so I do that. And then my middle section is like task and cleaning. So, so is that, that most of this home related things or family? Yeah. Stuff? So the yeah. cleaning is kind of like a, what would I like to get done today? Monday's my day off. So I tend to fill it up a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas like Tuesday I was, I worked all day. And so there was nothing. It was like, Oh, I get up at six in the morning and I could maybe do one little thing before uh, my son gets up at eight kind of thing. And we take him to the babysitter at eight 30. So, you know, there's like, can I get one little task done before maybe it's just uh, folding laundry or, uh, you know, maybe I'll mop the floors real quick before anyone gets up in the morning kind of thing and starts, you know, moving around. So I don't really do that. And then usually whatever the last day of the week is, sometimes I'm off on Friday. Sometimes I'm not have a pretty set schedule, which is nice. Yeah. Um, Not all servers do. So I've kind of been there for a long time enough to have my seniority and be like, these are my days. I don't generally work weekends. Um, I work one out of the month. That's it. That's not bad. No, it's not. I'm pretty lucky. And, you know, a lot of people are like, well, you know, your weekends are your money days. They are, but I've been with the company for a long time. So, yeah. you know, my regulars come in on Tuesday. Yeah. And so I'm there on Tuesday. Yeah. So, you know, it's just kind of, that's the business though. Anyone yeah. who's in food industry knows that like, that's just, you work the days that you're going to make your money. Yeah. And you don't really worry about the other stuff. So, mm-hmm. and with the weekends, that's the only time that we really have to see friends, see family, spend family time stuff. together mm-hmm. with just us. Um, so it was important for me to not work on weekends Yeah, yeah. and just kind of find that balance of like one a month isn't bad. You know, it's mm-hmm. harder because it's the whole weekend that uh, Ryan, my boyfriend has the, yeah. has my son. Um, but usually we'll be able to have, we know when it is far enough out that either his mom or my mom will be able to help out. That's good. Kind of thing. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, so we schedule it that way. Okay. Kind of make it work. Yeah. So I mean, my dad's been in the restaurant industry his whole life. So I know exactly what you're talking about. Yep. It's not easy. Yeah. And like, I don't, I don't put when I'm going to be done. I just put when yeah. I go in because that's not a thing. You don't yeah. have an off time. You're done when you're done. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. You know, that whole question of well, when oh, are yeah. you going to be off? When I get no idea. <laughs> when I, I'll, I'll call you when I'm walking out of the building. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty much how we go. So. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. So with the bottom of the planner, the daily boxes, you said you use the meals for the top one. What do you use the other two daily boxes for? So the other two, my middle one is usually like, um, like monthly automation. So like changing the furnace filter mm. or, um, my cats have a water fountain that they use. I clean that gotcha. once a month. Okay. Um, yeah, stuff like that where yeah. it's like, hey, this needs to get done sometime this week needs to happen. Yeah. Um, or like if I'm gonna do like deep cleaning, like um 
uh, pulling down all the curtains and washing those or uh, cleaning the mattress or something that's more yeah. of like a deep cleaning yeah. um, that wouldn't traditionally go into my daily cleaning mm-hmm. task of like wiping down, like doing laundry or something like that. Right. Um, I kind of put it there where it's like, hey, this is a call out to something that's a little bit more in depth or you're going to have to take mm-hmm. a little bit more time something like that. So that's what I use that middle box for. And then the bottom box is any big bills. So if I have my student loans coming out or gotcha. um, rents due that day, something like that. Okay. That's what I use that bottom, bottom third box for. Gotcha. So, so how do you feel about the, that layout in general? Does it really like, do you like the Inkwell classic? Does it work for you? Is there things that you would change if you could make the planner page yourself? Um, I mean, I have always, always wanted, and I've said this in the group too. I just want a gray scale. (laughs) I want it to all be gray because I don't want color. And like I had to, the light red might be my saving grace for making that pink spread a little better. (laughs) Oh, the pink is hard though. Pink is the The bane of everybody. It's harsh. It's harsh. And like, I didn't think it was going to be quite that loud. Yeah, but right. man, it is, it is rough to look at when you open up, you're like, Oh, especially at the end of the night, you're tired. You that. I'm like looking it's at so it. loud. I, I don't know. And like, I don't mind. Um, I don't mind the other ones. The other three are not bad. The other three. Like yeah. It's like the blue, kind right? of like a periwinkle mm-hmm. for January. And then February was that God awful pink. And then you have blue and again, a little more blue. Blue then- again. And then April is like a green color. Yeah. But they're more, they're more muted. They're not quite as, um, like, yeah, I they're not quite as aggressive. Sharp. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't, I, so I think that that's probably a big part of it. Um, I don't much care for pink. In the first I don't place. like pink either. I don't. I can't think of a single thing that I own that's pink. I think I maybe have one top and it's a workout top and it's not one I wear, Um, (laughs) you know? So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I have one, but I don't do pink. I'm I'm pretty muted. Black is my color of choice. It's what I wear for work every day. (laughs) So black, gray, white, maybe green. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah. I mean, like this is about as colorful as it gets and it's like a a greenish color. Yeah. I'm very muted color, Um, basics, khaki, that kind of thing. Um, I would love for her to do one that is completely grayscale. I know. I know that that's asking too much because, and I like people ask all the time. I know. And I'm just, I like, I, I wish that she would offer a color palette option and a grayscale option. I mean, I think that'd be, because I think that she would have plenty of people to purchase both, especially because now she's kind of honed in. She's not doing the A5. She's not doing the coil bound. She's only doing disc bound Mm -hmm. and they only print, you know, that one. So to me, offering two color options, I think is a better option for her people. I think, I mean, Um, I agree. I think it's on brand too. Even when you think about the direction that she's gone with the business, which is more into that, you know, entrepreneurial business coaching thing, you think of streamline planner to work may not want color in the planner. Right. Right. Yeah. There's definitely that, that professional aspect of like making planners, um, something that you, that you keep out on your desk and you don't want it to be something that Mm -hmm. draws attention away from your meeting or a business proposal or something like that by having a really loud color, like, you know, having February's, um, you know, monthly just sitting open. That's that big stripe of pink across the top can be really distracting probably. Um, yeah, I and you know, you don't, you don't want that. So I think having a grayscale option would be really good. Um, especially for a lot of us who do color code, I don't need yeah. you to distract me with another color that I have to make match with my color code and then mm-hmm. have it look wonky. Cause I've got purple next with to, you know, color, something yeah. else that doesn't match at all. Right. And just aesthetically because at the end of the day, you want your planner to be functional. Yeah. But you want to enjoy using it. Right. You and I think that there's anything. a disconnect <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, nah, I'll just skip. I don't need to plan in February. It's fine. <laughs> like, you know, so was funny. it may, may will be that color. Yeah. Every again? One, three or four, or no. four months. So June? what do you, 
what do you think about the 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 extra band she added to the top? Um, I mean, it's always been on the monthly, I think, yeah, or some version of it. But the weekly, she added that same band, and she did. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I like it for continuity's sake across the entire month. Okay, yep. Um, I can appreciate that for being what it is. It's a little easier for me to ignore at yeah. the top. Um, thankfully it's a little easier to ignore. Um, so it, I don't, I don't notice that one as much. Okay. So that doesn't bother I will say much. that. Um, but the yeah. three bottom boxes, because it is almost a third of the page. That's true. Yeah. Because it's almost a third of the page. It, I know that there's supposed to be call outs and it's supposed to be things that are like super important, your top three or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you've got going on, whatever you use them for. Um, it's kind of a call out and I get that, but it is really distracting when it is a third of your page mm -hmm. in a color that you hate yeah. or that you can't, like, you can only cover up so much with stickers. Yeah. And, like, and then it starts to look to try insane. And balance it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to try and balance it or, mm -hmm. you know, cause then it kind of feels like the things that you want to focus on, you ignore because you don't want to look at that part of your planner and it just becomes really you know, distracting. It's distracting yeah. to like deal with and look at and have it be there. So um, yeah. I think you're right. I think the, I top, the, the top band, when I first saw it, I was like, mm -hmm. what did she do? Like this, yeah. is, you know, again, I agree with you on the continuity. I think that's definitely on there from a design standpoint, but I yeah. was like, you know, one of the things I think I've always heard over the years that people like about Inkwell and I've liked is minus the daily boxes at the bottom it always had this open feel where there was space and it was very yeah. functional and you could make it your own you know you think about like the with inkwell their column width is bigger than anybody else's like and that's part of the reason well, i love so it like yeah this width actually mm -hmm. dotted line to dotted line is 1.6 and aaron condren and moxie life and everybody else it's 1.5 her yeah. line length is 1.5. So she's still standard in that way, but that little bit of extra just always made it feel more airy. And the same mm -hmm. with up here with this being all open. I was like, so when they, when she did this, I was like, oh man. And it looked worse. I think on pictures when she showed it on Instagram, than when I got when she it. Done her, yeah, her and I was like, okay. September, she had the preview. Yeah. I'm like, it's not that bad. So I do, I definitely agree with you. I think it's easier to ignore that than when there's a really color you don't like down here because like you said yeah. it is about yeah like a third of the page yeah um, and it kind of you know and when you're looking at it it's like it takes up a lot of space that you know you could potentially be using for something else yeah. which I love I love the daily boxes it's one of those things that initially drew me to inkwell press because I wanted to have that automatic top three yeah. or um, like when I was using this and I was in college and you know, it, it made sense. Cause I could put things like, Hey, you have an exam this day yeah. or, you know, something that it made sense. And so I liked having that mm -hmm. as the call out, but now that I moved away from that, I no longer need that. And I need it to function differently for me mm -hmm. and it still does, but it's not as simple I I feel like having the color there is just extra it yeah. doesn't need to be and and I I don't hate the colors but they're not my favorite and I yeah. don't really I don't need them they don't add anything for me yeah from a planner standpoint yeah uh, you know finding that planner that planner piece or whatever yeah you know the elusive right ever consuming <laughs> oh, yeah you know, hunt to find planner piece, which yeah. I'm convinced does not exist, does will not never exist. exist. Yeah. Um, cause life is constantly changing. So, right. you know, um, it's just kind of one of those things, but it, it takes up a lot of real estate to have a color on there. Um, I don't hate the colors, you know, as far as the other three palettes, yeah, they're not bad. They're really nice. Um, they're colors that I'm drawn to as colors that I like, but would never put into my life unless they were in yeah. my plan kind of thing because everything in our home is is pretty muted so we, are too, we yeah. don't you know we don't have a lot of like pops of color so for me to have those in my planner that's nice, nice. but yeah. I don't need them 
Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's yeah. that. I agree. I think the, the, the 2021 colors are better than they were last mm-hmm. year. 2020 colors were not good. They um, were really, um, they were very, uh, and I actually really like earthy toned stuff, mm-hmm. but they were just very odd. Um, I think yeah. she did better this year. Um, mm-hmm. I think, you know, and it's like one of those things, right? Like we can all, comp- like, I always feel like, God, how much more can I complain about coloring? Like colors. I like- know. Right. <laughs> it seems like such a little thing to complain just- about because it's like, right. it, they're just colors right. like covered up. I don't know, you know, just ignore it. Right. But it, it is something where it's like, it's something so little that makes such a big impact to so many people. Yeah. And you know, it can really make or break. Like that was the biggest reason I hated Erin Condren. Okay. So I was going to ask you, have you, what other I hated Erin Condren because her colors are obnoxious. I can't do Erin They're Aaron so Condren. bright. They're so out. Of, like, that's why I don't like happy planner either. Yep. Couldn't Cause do that theirs either. is the same way. Like their stickers, they're a little too cutesy for me. Mm-hmm. Even the functional ones are like, ugh, I can't, mm-hmm. I can't do it. Cause I just want, I want them to all be like, one sheet of all the same kind of sticker of all the same kind of whatever. So like this, this is like a perfect sticker sheet to me, all one color in a color that I need. And that's it all the same. I don't need 12 different stickers that say, get it done in six different fonts and a hundred different colors. Like I don't need that. I don't need it. I need something that's a line. That's it. That's all I want. Great. I just want something simple. Because that's something that we always struggle with because, you know, obviously, you know, anybody that's in the planner world knows that like in most ways we're kind of different than other planner shops. Like we don't sell kits. We mm-hmm. don't sell decorative stuff. Well, we have a few things that are like, yeah, there's a, there's a few. Yeah. But you know, that's the thing I think like that's so, that so many of our customers have in common is you guys like functional, you like consistent, you like, mm-hmm. you know, you're doing this. You're trying to make your planner work for you and using a few stuff right. helps you do that a little bit better. Whether you're trying yeah. to, like you said, denote something, call attention to something, um, just come up with some kind of system where, yeah. you know, we've tried in the past to kind of go to the other side and like do um, some decorative stuff, yeah. like do cutesy stuff. And it just doesn't work because yeah. people, you guys that have been shopping with us, that's not what you want. And if you want that, right. you those other shops that are really good at doing that. Um, right. So yeah, I think that's, it's so interesting to talk to everybody so far. And it's such a consistent theme. Like that's why I buy your stickers because they're functional and I can get one sheet of just what I need. I don't need yeah. this mixture of things I'm never going to use. Right. Exactly. Like for me, my, my mixture ones that I got where yeah. um, I cleared out some of your, Oh yeah. I saw you ones. got those. That's great. Yeah, they're just, they're just mm-hmm. the meals and I only use it. And like, I mean, is this more than I'm ever going to need? Absolutely. But they're muted enough colors that like, these are from old years and I no made match. it work. Yep. And they'll match. They'll match mm-hmm. enough that I can make it work. And um, let's see, where did I happen to use that? And it's I like, I, it I, I used it. it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's in my um, my little sidebar. Just yeah, that's to, a like, smart spot for that. Meal option. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just covered up the notes. Um, that's like, I'm, I'm using this section right mm-hmm. here. And this is just um, the bottom half of the half box. I need it to be three lines, not four. <laughs> so I literally just exact a knife across the bottom oh of God, all of them. Awesome. So my, it's a little wavy. That's and I just clever. use this, this bottom little piece and it's just wide enough to cover up that weekly focus. That's pretty clever. At the top of the page. And I've been using it with your this week and yeah. next week of things that I like it doesn't have to happen right in this moment or like, um, let's see, last week I used next week because I had to make list of stuff you needed to a get bunch done. of phone calls and I knew I was going to do those all. So I was putting all the numbers in one spot uh-huh. and it's like, I knew I wasn't going to get to it this week. It was going to have to be next. Yeah. And that kind of thing. Whereas like this week, I knew I had a little bit more time and I can, I can kind of just know that. So like this week these are the tasks I need to get I gotcha. done. Yeah. And I've just used like a little icon to cover up the, the dot. hexagon or whatever's there. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, the hexagon is kind of, I don't want to say awkward, but it doesn't really, 
Yeah, for I know me. She, she had added that. I feel like years and years ago, that space didn't say that before. I think um, before. Hold on, I'll pull out my 2017. <laughs> Ironically enough, 2017 was the year that she was in Staples, which is why I got it, because that was the year she partnered with them to have it on shelves. So I have my 2017. I like that cover. And that was, I do too. I mean, she exploded in 2016 and 17. That was like yes. her big years. It was, it was her big years. But like, I was looking back to, oh man. So like when she still had the tabs in there. Oh yeah. Before they were separate and they were like this laminate piece. Mm -hmm. Um, she still had basically the same setup. So like yeah, let's see important I, dates. Yep, yep. That was still in there. Um let's see what else did she have? So she still had the gold. I, see, never no, I like that page out. better. I this never, this format yeah I never use her gold stuff I know it? that okay. sounds terrible I don't use it I don't my mission boards are empty uh one because there's no lines and I need lines I'm with you on that I, I'm creature of habit I need lines. I would be I write um, like upside down like sideways yeah it yeah it, and then I start erasing it because I use frictions and then it just becomes a <laughs> sloppy mess and so I don't bother I don't do them because I know better and I know myself that I'll I'll rip it out and throw it away yeah. so um I, I did like this, um, the style, but these weren't things that I was focusing on. Yeah. Um, so her categories, they're okay. I, I don't hate them. Um, I love that she puts this mission at the top. Mm -hmm. I wish that that was more of a call out because it's something I've started doing, but then this is like her- The quarterlies. Her quarterly, but it was a list, mm -hmm. which is what I loved because now it's the thing and there's no space for it. Like there's yeah. no space to really focus on what you care about. Cause like some people, you know, they're not trying to make their home. They've already bought their forever home or they've already right. renovated their whole home. Yep. So that's not important to them. Um, you know, and, and social goals and personal goals are different for everyone. So I don't know, having it be something where, but yeah, I mean, you can see her color palette for, it was, yeah. you know, it was nice. It. Yeah, 2017 was good. And that design was better for the goal pages. When she changed the goal page in 2020 to this weirdness. Um, mm -hmm. And you know what? I didn't use the goal stuff either until 2019. And I've been in Inco since 2016. And yeah. I've never used the goal pages. I never, I, I never have. I've never used them. This, while aesthetically cool, I don't know how you can write it's not your spaces. <laughs> It's not functional. No, I, so I wish it was, but it's not. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, her monthly really hasn't changed a it, lot. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's, it's pretty much the same, pretty mm -hmm. much the same there. And then you still got your top five and notes. Yep. So that was the there. same. Okay. Um, you know, th things are a little bit more boxy in this particular year. Like they're they're cut off all the way at the top there. Like yeah. there's these open lines. I, I kind of think I like her new format for the monthly. Um, a little more structured. Yeah. Even yeah. though I like the open end of the top, I kind of want there to be that enclosed space. Yeah. That, that's a place where I want it to be like a the box. structure. Yeah. Yeah. I want that. I want the structure in my monthly. Yeah. Um, maybe a little bit more in the, so let's here, find a, yeah. See, I tried to, I, I tried to do this of, of things. Not great. Not great. Let me tell you that. Um, and like the habit tracker, I know this is something you talked about with Barb, um, having it be in the front here. I, I don't, I don't like flipping back. I want it to be something that carries on. So actually I was going to buy some in the sale. Yeah. And I was like, no, I, it, the item was basically the same as shipping. And I was like, forget it. Yeah. So I actually pulled out my one from last year mm -hmm. and started chopping things up. That's a good idea. 
I mean, where I thought I brought them out here because I tried to grab everything. Just like cutting that piece off, and then yeah, mm -hmm. see now that's yeah. Like we were talking with when I was talking with Barb about it. That's the one thing like with habit trackers. If that thing is not in my weekly spread, I, am I don't see it. Back. Don't care. Yeah, and yeah. so when we made inserts back in mm -hmm. 2019. We had I remember and all of that stuff. I like um, the half sheets, and I did great, but um. Yeah, if I have to flip back and forth too much. I I don't. Oh, they're right here. They're underneath everything. My whole kitchen table looks like a train wreck. Um, so yeah, I literally just took that That's that such flat, a great that, idea. And I cut them in half. So I've got this like tiny little yep. half grid. And should I care to punch this side? It's got the plan and and focus Very in clever. last year's colors. Um, and then I just did these. That and just, so I, I repunched them because the punch was on this side originally. Right. So I just kind of cut it off and then used my, actually, that's what I would love for her to come out with. If I had to pick one thing, a punch. I'm surprised she had, which people yet. have asked for literally since she went to disc. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, I, this one's fine. It's the happy planner one. Yeah. It's a disc bound. It works. I have the arc one that staples put out. It's, it's the same punch, Yeah, but I having it be, mm -hmm her um branding and the exact right size yeah and, and like nice. knowing that everything i put in because like this one if you put in the papers and you go all the way to the back where it butts up it's a little there's a strange little overlap okay. and so things aren't perfect okay. which is really simple and little but it's enough it's of a still, difference yeah, you'd it's noticeable mm -hmm. it's noticeable um so yeah i so i just did these and they're just that. And so I can just track it. And honestly, what I'll probably do is put two of these in a month and track it because was it 67 days to make a habit or something, something like weird. that? Yeah. yeah. Some random number um, that someone arbitrarily picked to be <laughs> the number that a habit takes <laughs> to form. Um, so I was like, oh, well, I can do that and carry it across 90 days. Ooh, that's a so good I idea. could, you know, like like right now I'm not going to the gym, but as soon as I'm able to go back where we don't have to wear masks, because I've tried, yep, understand it's that. not for me, Yep. <laughs> but I do have to go to a gym. I can't do in home. I tried that too, but I'm distract. Like I'll be distracted. I if there's you. dishes in the sink, it's like, I'll walk away from a workout to go do those, even though I hate doing dishes because I don't want to work out any more than I want to do dishes. Yeah. If I have to pick one, <laughs> I get dishes done a lot faster than a 30 minute workout. So yeah. I'll do that. So I, I, I get distracted for in home. Yep. So I have to go to a gym, um, but it's not something I want to do right now with everything else going yep. on. Um, and we weren't in a schedule. Like we lost our entire format, a schedule when yep. I was off work. And then my boyfriend was off work for a couple months here, a couple months there yeah. in between jobs, that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, just that's what 2020 was. There was no getting around it. So like the structure that we had in place for, our morning routine yep. or our evening routines, things like that of like, I drop the baby off the babysitters, go to the gym, go to my work shift. That used to be my morning. Yeah. And then when we closed down, I couldn't go to the gym because they were closed. But then when they did open back up, I was still off or so you're the home, babysitter out of it just didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. It just didn't work. So, um, you know, that, that is what it is, but 2020 was weird. Needless to say for yeah. everyone. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it, it was trying to make a schedule that couldn't happen, happen yeah. um, kind of thing and trying to make that work and it just didn't. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those things where I was like using something like this across one habit to me makes more sense. That's and then I can really just pop idea. it out from month to month. Yeah. Um, I never even thought about that. I mean, you have like a quarter of a habit, like, right? Like, a quarter yeah. And, and a that's habit. really one habit and being able to see just at one. a glance exactly how you did That's mm -hmm. a great way to use that. I never would have thought of that. Yeah. And, and that was kind of like one thing. And I only thought about it because you and Barb were talking about like the continuity of watching it, of like seeing yeah. it every like week to week where you don't see it. If you just do it in like your corner, like the, yeah. like the maxi life has. Yep. Um, so I was like, oh, well, you could just do that. And then I started cutting things apart because I was, you know, because I could right. more or less. <laughs> I yes. was trying to save money because, yeah, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, I've already got, got these. They're already printed. It's on her paper. And this did not change 
from last year mm. to honestly, I don't think it's changed I don't think that's ever changed at all. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's ever changed. Uh, the only thing I can see that has changed about it. Oh, let's go here to a month where I didn't write anything in because I stopped using it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a little like they are, they're literally identical. Exactly the same. Yeah. They look exactly the same. I don't think it's ever changed. No, I don't think um, she ever changed that. I think it's always been that way. Which is kind of nice. I, I, I appreciate that. That yeah, doesn't I think, change from year to year. Yeah. And I think for Tanya, like that's, I mean, I don't know Tanya personally, so I'm making this up, mm -hmm. but I think that's like the hard thing, right. Of owning a planner company and like, you know, you can't appease everyone, right? You can't. And like, you know, you always want to come out with something that's new. You want a little bit of a fresh or take different. on it. And it's like, how much do you really change? And when you come down to like, okay, you can change fonts, but you don't want to be too off brand. You can change mm -hmm. colors, which is great. But then at some point you've like maxed out on the colors that you've combinations you've used. You don't want yeah. to change the layout too much because people kind of like the layout. That's why they're buying your product. Right. That's yeah. So they want. Yeah. So it's hard to look to make it. too many changes. Yeah. There, are, I was trying to find like just the, I think 2017 had softer colors. I think that's the word I want to use for them, but like see, what this was, was, oh, that was, um, that was um, Sedona. Uh, I don't remember the Let names of them that far to, back. Flip to the month before that. What's the month before that? Uh, let's see. That's April. So March would have been, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's Neapolitan. I remember that wasn't, I liked those palette. They were like, had some earthy so, mm -hmm. and then there was yeah, they're soft. There. They're soft. They've got colors in there that are, you know, a little punchy, like the orange and things like that, but just much softer on the bottoms. Like just the, oh, yeah, you're the boxes. Right. It was more so. See, and I they're like, just soft. And like, now seeing the top like that, I'm like, oh, I miss the top being open. See, I, I don't like these. Really? I, I don't. I, I was looking back on it when I found it and I was like flipping through. Yeah. And I actually like, I like it being blank. Like there not being yeah. any color, but I don't like this. Like the style of the layout. Of a color. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, I could see that. Um, like Saturday, Sunday is S-A and S-U. Yeah. I see what you're I saying. I don't like that. Yeah. I feel like that's, you know, whereas opposed to, you know, this. That is a nice way to format the date. Mm -hmm. I like this format. Yeah. I could do without the color. Yeah. I kind of hope she gets color. I, yeah. It's, it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, you know. I mean, I'm not going like to get it because of it. Yeah. I like this format better. Yeah. Um, you know, little things like that. And yeah, but like, okay. So like, this is the monthly. It's got that band but line of color it like kind of fades okay mm -hmm. yeah. which I kind of I kind of like that ombre but then yeah, the too. only callback to that color was at the top mm -hmm. there was so the much bottom. less color on the page so much less color which I like mm -hmm. um there are little things I would change like I think you could make this format with color but in lighter. the new style yeah um you know, and just do something as simple as, you know, your numbers are colored. Yeah. Or, or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Have that be, you know, like a, a black font mm -hmm. or a black color and then have the number be like your the, color aspect just yeah. for that continuity. Um, you know, and that's important from a design standpoint that it kind of, cause the Flows. continuity doesn't come across as easily with this. That's, yeah, that is true as it does. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's really little things. And like we said, you can't please everyone. No, you're not going to, but the colors were significantly softer. Yeah. Like just like they were happier. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or a little more brighter. Like this oh, is, yeah, this is was, a beautiful. Yeah, what was that? Is that Taos? I think that was a pretty mm, palette. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful palette of colors that I would never personally use, but it looks good together. But it was nice to have mm -hmm. them. They look good together. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and so it was like, it's little things like that. I do like her mission boards. I like the color that's yeah. on there. I don't use them, Yeah. but I like them. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good, like, if this is how you do 
your goal setting and things like that. I think this is a beautiful way of like having mm -hmm. design on there without you having to add it in. Mm -hmm. um, it just doesn't work for, doesn't work for me. Yeah. So, you know, I just don't use them. I don't know if that's is that different. I think it's a little, I think there's oh, like one more hexagon this year than there used to be. Um, one, two, three, four, six, or something or one more is colorful mm -hmm. that used to be not colorful or something like that so this is this year's so this is mm -hmm. april of this year and this is april of 2017 now my biggest difference is obviously font right here yeah. but also and i don't know if you can see it, but there's, there's this that, little that, that line little designed one that like grid paper one at the bottom. Right. And now it's, colorful. and there's not, yeah, she made it a color that time. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and then there's also, um, this right next to the coil, there's a single line. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I would use it for, but if you had something like, I don't know if you had one big thing, like a vacation or something, you could throw that on there. Yeah, it's I'm and so whereas this year it's just open, open space. Yeah. Which is fine. I don't know that it really matters. It matters, yeah. From a you know standpoint. Um what side of the page it's on is different. I will yeah, say that. Because when she made it for the disc, she had to move it around. Yeah, I, I kind of like this where the layout is your mission board with this plan and focus because I don't use this plan and focus mm -hmm. in the current one because it's all the way at the end of the back. I, yeah, know I, I don't use it. Like when she changed it and she had to do that. I can't remember why she had to it, do that. I feel like it was a, a printing issue where it was like it wasn't going to line up correctly with pages something, or something. Yeah, something, something like that. Something little. To the disc. I can't remember what it was. So how, so you were using her A5. That's the first thing you use. The, yeah. So I use that. That was the first year that she made inserts mm -hmm. and she only had a five for like a year, right? Two, two years, maybe. Oh, was it two? Okay. I, I, th I feel like it was two, it but they two. phased okay, out. Right. They phased out. Um, and then she also had in 2016, 2017, the quarterly ones mm -hmm. where you could buy the four yep bound quarterlies which yep. i liked honestly because those were nice you could throw them like as a a day um throw it in your purse as like a day planner yeah um without carrying around a big bulky book a yeah. big bulky book yeah so um you know this is ugh, and my coils are starting to like come apart yeah, that i've had this for so long um so, so how did it back you, in the place so how did you feel like were you really into the a5 were you disappointed or do you feel better ah, with the seven by nine now? I needed more space than okay. the A5 ever provided me. Okay, that was so the cool. biggest thing is like, I would go and I would do it. And I had, you know, I, I actually, so I used Inkwell originally. And then I went to a, um, a woman who is on Etsy um, and she has a YouTube channel and things like that. She designed A5. They were super simple, literally nothing. It, they were white pages. Yeah. And I, and I loved how open they were. Cause you literally could make it anything you wanted. Mm -hmm. Um, but I found myself spending a lot of time putting the structure in and that was too much. So okay. it was too open. It was almost too open. It was yeah. too much white space. So I needed that like middle ground and she had stopped making the eight five at that point. So I went back into, you know, I the see. disbound coil bound kind of yeah. thing. Um, so, you know, I, this is more room, mm -hmm. more like a traditional, like book planner that I was used to. I don't carry my planner anywhere. I never have. Um, I've always just made memos to myself in my phone and then I'll reconcile it with my main one or the calendar on the wall or whatever yeah. in the kitchen. So, um, but I don't know. I, I have used Inkwell, I think for so long, and this is something I said in the group, it's like, I've made it work for me, even yeah. though I don't like all the things that Tanya's done with, with the changes. Um, changing things. Yeah. 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 So I've just made it work. And I found shops like your guys' shop that has something that's simple. It does exactly what I need it to do. And it, mm -hmm. and that's enough. Um, and then when you guys add in the Moxie life colors and started doing 
um, stickers for that, you know, it, the ability to, because the boxes are, are mostly the same. Yeah, they're size, like the same, relatively yeah. speaking. It's like tons um, of inches. Yeah, it's, it's enough that it's not obnoxious to have it yep. be not full or whatever. Um, and like, like these boxes are quarter boxes. It, they fit just fine. Yeah. Um, you know, so it, it, it's not enough of a difference to matter. Right. Um, but having the additional Moxie Life colors that you guys use and have both mm -hmm. in the regular and then the light. Yeah. It does make it easier with the inkwell to um make things work. Because like um like April's, for example, for this year, I started putting them in and the light blue gray that's in Moxie yeah. Life oh, is almost good. identical to April color. Yeah. So it worked where I was like, oh good, I can make my weekend one match that top that's banner. Perfect but not be so off. So I was finding moxie colors that were complimenting enough yeah. to be used for stuff like that, mm -hmm. where I could have a whole sheet of the weekend banners and this will work for all four weeks in April and yeah. all four weeks in what September will be that next one or yeah. whatever it is, you know? And so I could buy one sheet and be like, okay, this is all the stickers I need for the whole year. Yeah. for that entire color palette for, you know, you know, so I could just minimize how much I was buying yeah, and have it be a little bit more streamlined where I don't have to dig through four sheets of weekend to find one that matches. Yes. That makes or sense. Or one that I like better than others. Cause like, I would want, you know, all of it to be the same from month to month yeah because having one month be like the purple and then one month be the light purple and then one month be I don't know for me that is something I want to be the same for the whole year I know that yeah. seems silly and no but because I mean, you don't go back and look at it but you I know you, everybody's different like some people want a lot of variety like some people mm -hmm. like you know we every year when we match the inkwell press colors you know there's usually mm -hmm. about, well, yeah I always look forward to when you guys do and see what color palette yeah, you guys come up with it's hard sometimes because she'll have colors that are like different, but they're different by like a tiny little shade, yeah. you know? Yeah, um, I remember seeing that like, like in your video. Yeah. And they're like, I want all the colors. And then there's some people like yourself. So you're not alone that are like, I want, just give me like the main color or, and we've had can you just give me, can you give me gray? Right. <laughs> can you give me gray, gray and everything? Gray like things. your moxie life gray. Yeah. I have, um, you guys have some, like you have some gray stickers. Yeah, we do have some, you know, like scale. your, yeah. It, yeah. Like and we have, yep. That's all we have about probably like that's 10 it. or so that are just gray. Yeah. Yeah. And we've tried that before. We've tried to add more to that. And they, every once in a while people buy those. And then some people really yeah. everyone wants the color. Hmm. Yeah. So we thought, all right, I'm the outlier. I'm willing. <laughs> we thought, all right, it's fine. Wanna, but I mean, it goes in phases, you know, like everybody's yeah. styles change. I mean, even when we first started this, I think more people were into more decorative planning and I've seen mm -hmm. the pendulum swift shift to the other direction now where I think yeah. more people are getting more functional. Not that some yeah. people don't really love using this as like a creative outlet and more like a scrapbooking memory right. Thing, right. decorative thing, but there's, you know, and I think for our customers, what we've noticed over the years is, you know, most of us are, you know, I'm, I only use my stickers and my planner looks the same yeah. every freaking week, you know, like yeah. every week it looks the same. And oh, so, I know. I, I know. Mean, Mine's like that too. Yeah. I, but I kind of, I kind of like that. Yeah. I know that too. sounds lame, Consistent. but I like, I like consistency. Me too. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't do well with change. I think it's because everything else changes. And so I want one thing just to say, be your thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just to be like, I don't have to think about it. I don't have to add extra thought to it. Like I know that I'm going to go in my planner and I'm going to look at it and it's going to make gonna sense. Work. And I don't have to think about more yes. than that because I look at my planner, but I don't, I, I use it as like a brain dump almost. Mm -hmm. So I, I dump all my information in there, but it's like, I still know I have a dentist appointment on Wednesday. I'm not going to forget I have a dentist appointment but it's on like Wednesday. Nice that it's but in it's there. there. Yeah. But it's there. But I don't have to think about putting it in there and finding the perfect tooth sticker or appointment yeah. sticker or whatever. And then having to find an Etsy shop to go and get one sheet 
to use one sticker for a dentist appointment that I have every six months. Like it, right. it doesn't make sense. So I just needed, you know, something that made more sense. And so I got, you know, these are for my son. They're his pediatrician appointment. That's it. They're green. So I know that they're his yeah. and I have a whole sheet. And so any appointment he ever has goes on that. We'll go on one of these. I don't have to think about getting yeah. a different sticker, yeah. you know, or having a gajillion stickers for mm. things that I'll never use. Yeah. I think it's just I'll, like I'll nice. never use it. Yeah. It's like nice. Just knowing, you know, what stickers you need, you know, how you mm -hmm. use your planner, you have your system. Yeah. yeah. Maybe once in a while you'll tweak things and play around with things or use a different yeah. sticker here or there. But for the most part, it's like, you have this nice routine of what you lay out, yeah. what you use, and it makes it easy. And like you said, you get it all out of your head. So it's somewhere and you and can that's rely it. on it. It's predictable. Yeah. I think like my most decorative stickers are, yeah, these are, these are probably about it. So like our date night stickers. Oh, those are cute. They're simple, but, but there's enough still. Yeah. But they're, it's enough. Um, these are ones that she does all the doodles. That's about oh, as those are cute. about yeah. creating, but they're small. And that's why I like them. Cause I don't want it to be the takeover and the whole thing, but they're just small enough. Like, so next week is easy. Cause like Easter's coming up. Yeah. And they're small cute. and those they just fit there. up there. They're simple. Yeah. And that's why I like her stickers. Um, but like these, these are probably my most decorative stickers that I have our, our family times. Like if we go to the park and then, uh, we use cloth diapers. So I wash our laundry, so you, that, you know, yeah. and so I have a very specific sticker for that. That's it. That, yeah. Those are my most decorative stickers. Everything else is just sheets of like shapes of, and appointments and yep. Of simple. Yep. And then like, I have like just a whole sheet of, of purple guys. days off mm -hmm. because I always have my Mondays off. It's my one day off from the week and then I'm off on the weekends. And so, I, you know, I've, I've really cut down and I still have a ton mm -hmm. of decorative everything else that I don't, I don't use, yeah. uh, or I would use one sticker out of, and then you have the rest and of that sheet. would be it. Yeah. yeah. Um, like there was a time and, and these are probably the, uh, coffee monster Co's. Oh, she does yeah, all of her doodles. And yeah. I love hers, but these are like tiny itty bitty icons. Yeah. And I use them for Etsy purposes. And, and then this I use for my Amazon um, subscribe and save our monthly oh, okay. delivery. Yeah, yeah. That's the only time I use them. Um, but it's easy because mm -hmm. I don't have to think about finding a different sticker for all that stuff. Yep. They just kind yes. of exist. And that's, that's it. I don't have yeah. to think about it. And then, um, I do the 52 week challenge Oh, yep. for yeah. saving. So I have these and these go in every week. Okay. And so I just pop those in. Yeah. So you can see how, what I get them week nine. So I have the first start of the year. Okay. I didn't bother to put them back in. Um, but yeah, I just keep, you know, stuff like this yeah. where it's, but it's all in what I like about this sticker shop. Um, she has a ton of different colors and you can pick exactly what you want. So I do, she's in Australia. So I do one order at the beginning of the yeah. year or end of the year before the shop closes um, for the end of the year. And I do the whole year. I buy the whole year worth of stickers. Yeah. So like, that's why I have so many. It's not because I the whole year supply. am buying a lot, mm -hmm. but it's the whole year. So I don't have to think about, you know, getting to like March and being like, oh shoot, I don't have a sticker for mm -hmm. that. And then trying to find one in you know, I keep everything just all in one spot. Yeah. So I don't have to think about it, which is nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice for that. And then I just have one of these arc envelopes that I've yeah. literally had forever. Um, probably got that back in 2016 or 17, <laughs> but they were, so, yeah. you know, um, but yeah, planner supplies that I've used for years, I've continued to use mm -hmm. because they are simple and functional yeah. and that's easier for me than anything else. So I don't keep what, a lot of the other stuff. What other planners have you tried? So you said Erin Condren, 
Uh, I tried Erin Condren. Mm -hmm. I've tried Happy Planner. I've tried Happy Planner Mini. I've done a five. I had a, um, I thought for a moment I would do memory planning in a traveler's notebook. Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried a five inserts from Inkwell. I've tried ones from uh, Etsy. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really feel like I've tried all, I've tried all the mainstream ones. I think really the only one I haven't tried is Moxie Life. Yeah. And I think the only reason I haven't is because I can live in Inkwell and I don't need something different. Yeah. So I don't move to something different. Yeah. I think um, that's, that's like key. You know, I think you see it so much in the planner world, right? Especially now. I mean, there's like a quadrillion planner options. I have I mean, the original passion planner. I did oh, that one because I did their kickstart. Yeah. I bought, I bought into that. So I have the original awesome. passion planner. I think I used one week in it. Yeah. I've, that's it. Yeah, it I wasn't it for too, me. It doesn't. And that's the thing. I I, think it's like, not functional for me. Yeah. I, I think unless you have like a lot of scheduled things you need to put in there, right. it's not necessarily yeah. ideal. And I think people always just see the next planner and they just want to go try it. Right. Like I think it's just yeah. nature. like, Oh, maybe this one will be better. But the reality is like you said, if you have a system that works, why change it just to change it? You know, like right. there's a lot of crossover and similarity between Inkwell Press and Moxie Life, but like if you mm -hmm. like one or the other and it's working for you, there's no need to, I think, switch really. And especially with Moxie, right. if you're not into the goal setting piece, you're going to get a big honk and planner that's, that you might not even use. That you don't use. Years. Yeah. You know, so if that's not your jam, even if you like the colors or the, the neutral nature of it, it may feel... Mm -hmm you know, like you're not really, I mean, cause there's a lot of extra pages in it. Right. So. And, and Moxie is coil bound, correct? Yeah. They're or, only coil they, right yeah. Now. yeah. Yeah. Is that something that you think that they will change? I Do you think that, that they'll go to disc bound just think, because people like it or? I think maybe I've been kind of out of the loop. I know Sierra, the owner of the company did a little like live video and she talked about some of the stuff coming down the pipeline. And I think somebody mm -hmm. told me there's probably going to be unpunched inserts. I think, I don't know. Okay. I watched her video. Mm -hmm. um, I think the benefit of that would also be like, if somebody like yourself did want to try it, you could get the unpunched inserts and not use the goal stuff, you know, right. and have that neutral canvas to work. With. Right. Um, yeah. That's one thing I, I did like that Tanya started doing where like you can buy just the monthly, you can buy the yeah. goal setting packet. I think that that was a really smart yeah. move on her part because I don't use the goal setting. Yeah. My life isn't set up where I'm at a point in my life where goals are, I don't want to say not important, but they're not something I'm focusing on. Yep. It's not something I'm working toward or thinking about. Like mm -hmm. my goals are habits at this point and I've got enough yeah. with yeah. those habit trackers to be fine. I don't need that whole extra piece. Yes. Um, and like her project planner that she, oh, that yeah, she yeah. always puts like one, I actually love those. So I bought a pack okay. of those because I use them for, I don't use them like a traditional project would be. Okay. So like, um, I don't even have it in here. Um, it's probably in my office, but it, um, I did it for reorganizing my pantry Oh, and I did it like, I did it where, uh, where's the sheet that's in here just for reference where it's got like how you do it. Like the, I don't, I don't even I know where to look at those pages. So I'm not even, I, I started using them. I don't even know who I saw had it. Oh, so yeah. So just for those who don't know what it looks like. So this mm -hmm. like budget part and things I use that not just for the money, but how much of my time. So oh, like, I'm going to budget two hours of my time to do this project hmm. or I'm going to budget, you know, something that's going to take me a, a little longer. Yeah. It's not something I would normally put in my planner, but it's like, I want it to have focus, but then, Interesting. um, yeah. like, I don't, I don't generally give myself a deadline or anything like that, but sure. I use like the task to put like, what do I need to purchase for this? Yeah. Um, like when we redid our bathroom, I used one for this too. And I put like, um, the paint color and how much we were going to okay. need. And, um, uh, we refinished the countertops. And so like the tasks that were there, um, and then brainstorm like, uh, Pinterest ideas or something okay. like that. So I used it, I used it That's for something other than like a, a project, like, yeah. a, you know, like a video for YouTube or, a you know, a collaboration or a sponsorship, something like that, where you might more traditionally use 
um, something like that or a, a mm -hmm. project for work or something. Sure. Yeah. I don't, I don't have that. That doesn't fit. So, um, That's a good way to that was better that. for me to mm -hmm. use it that way for like home renovation yeah. of like, okay, I'm going to budget a weekend yeah. worth of my time. And then I could do like, not just the monetary aspect of, okay, I only want to spend $300 to redo the bathroom, but you know, how long is it going to take me one weekend mm -hmm. was the budget of time. Cause I didn't want something to consume my whole Forever. life. Yeah. Yeah. Like when we redid our master bathroom in this house, um, it about ended our relationship <laughs> because we didn't have a bathroom or a shower or a tub or anything for like two weeks yeah. because we didn't plan it to get it all done in one weekend. Yeah. And so, Oh God, it, it was rough. <laughs> it was a rough, like there was not enough planning that went on oh, man. to like have it be done. So yeah. Yeah. Home mm -hmm. renovation. That's it will, funny. it will end things. <laughs> and and part of it too, like, I didn't know it at the time, but I had, I was, I had just gotten pregnant with my son. And so my hormones were all over You're the place like, oh. without even knowing. So I didn't even, I couldn't even be like, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. blame it on that. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was, you're emotional and you're crying over the color of the paint. Cause it doesn't look right. What's wrong with you? Oh my God. That's <laughs> Which amazing. Was, and like, I, I was probably only like three weeks pregnant. And so I had no idea, totally oblivious, had no idea that this was going on. And then, yeah, so home renovations, when you don't know you're pregnant, that's probably not, not a great idea. idea. Yeah. <laughs> are not, yeah, you know, and things before they even start kind of thing was what, you know, so it's, it, it's just one of those things, you yeah. know, planning your time is not it used. Is. Sometimes you have to spend a little bit more Yes. and writing things out because yeah, that was, that was a rough weekend, rough couple weeks for I sure. Imagine that sounds for like sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, cool. I'm trying to think if I have any more questions for you. Um, what about, what would you say to somebody that's new to planners and planning planner stickers? Cause we often have customers Ooh. that are like, you have so much stuff in your shop and I don't know where to find anything, or I don't know what I should start with. And we mm. have a lot of stuff. Yeah, you guys um, do. And we try to um, organize it, but it's not perfect. Um, right. So what would you say to somebody that's like brand new and wants to use planner stickers? Like, do you have any tips for anybody? I would say start out with things that you know you're going to use week to week. Like you, like if you have a job mm -hmm. or you have like, what can you use that's going to functionally serve things that you do every single week? Yeah. Um, yeah. you know, like your work schedule or like my son with his daycare mm -hmm. or, um, meal planning. If that's something that you do, that's something that you can lay down foundation stickers for. Yeah. And have it be really simple to plug in your information from there. So I think that that's a good place to start is start with the stuff that happens every single week, no matter what, mm -hmm. and get the stickers that you need for that. Cause now there are stickers that I'm buying from you guys that I would not have bought originally. Okay. But now I'm moving into them because it's like, oh, I can see where I could put something like that into what I already have. Mm-hmm. And it worked. Um, I guess a really good example of that. And it's, I don't know if you guys had these before and I just didn't know about it. Um, the online order. Those we just, Are these new? I think we just launched those for Mo Moxie not that long ago. Yeah. Okay. All right. I was like, am I, I don't no, remember those these. New for Moxie. Okay. I don't, I couldn't remember if you had them before and I just didn't know. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously now we all do so much shopping online. Mm -hmm. these are great, especially for like those orders that aren't Amazon that aren't coming in two days where yeah. you remember it. Like there are a couple of like, um, work from home moms that I, they do clothing for kids oh, and I cool. purchased it for my son. So, you know, so, but those are turnaround times of six to eight weeks and I'll forget. Wow. So I use these yeah. for like in my monthly spread, if I make an order, they go in there. Oh, that's and then smart. at the end of the month, I reconcile it. Um, and, you know, move it across or, or follow yeah. up if you need to, something like that. Um, so that's kind of like a sticker that I would not have generally purchased. Um, but I make it functional for the things that I have going on. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of one of those things where, and then like I have that sticker in the light yellow mm -hmm. that I've tried to use, but this color is not 
like, like really it's not cool. as pretty <laughs> in this big sheet but yeah. it's you know I had to buy a sheet and I'll use them it's whatever yeah but it's one of those things where I was like oh I thought the light yellow would would be different kind of thing yeah and part of that is um the original ones that I had were these the in the light hearts. the little yeah. hearts yeah mm -hmm. They look and so I just the use color these. looks different small than it does in bigger yeah, yeah. and that's you know it's just a little thing like that yeah. um obviously I'll use it but it's yeah. one of those things yeah. you know translation of color from a small sticker to a large sticker yeah but little you know that's mm -hmm. insignificant really in the long run it's just kind of one of those things like when you buy stickers you color different differences from screen to screen or how oh, it prints yeah. that you know that just is Yep. And I think yeah. if you've been in the game for long enough, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I mean, even I'm sure you guys do colors for your stuff and then print it out and it doesn't look the same that you thought it was going oh, to no. when you and Matt go and design all those colors. Oh, it so, takes hours because we're like, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, Moxie, luckily, we have a relationship with Sierra and she gave us the color codes and even the with code. the color codes those aren't going to look exactly as, you know, her printer doesn't print, the, you know, we're using it. Right. Well, and your paper yeah, different, your sticker on. paper is different. Yep. Exactly. You know, just how ink deposits on different the paper yeah. itself is different. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's always a big adventure trying to match colors. And, and then, <laughs> sure. like you said, everybody's screen looks different. So when someone looks at a sticker on the screen, mm -hmm. it's not always going to show up exactly the same when you get the product. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Yeah. No, but I think I'm that's sure a really that. good tip for new people is just to remember, just like get your basics, like think about stuff that you use or do in your life every week. And you can find mm -hmm. a sticker that coordinates with that and streamlines things, automates things, makes it simpler. You don't have to go all crazy and buy all the stickers and get super creative. Cause once I think it's like what you're saying is once you start and you get a little system down, then your brain mm -hmm. starts to go, Oh, well, maybe I could use this one. And you, you start to get more creative or find uses yep. for other things that you maybe wouldn't have yeah before. that's like the like the moxie life colors like i kind of bought those weekend light blue gray mm -hmm. on a whim because i need one i was like well this is the most neutral of them i'll get it mm -hmm. well i happen to be looking at it and i put it up on that on that uh in march and it's just a little off but i was like well it'll be fine i'll just roll with it and then i went to april because we're switching in i laid yep. one down i was like this is exactly Perfect. yeah it, it just matches and so i was like well let me pull out my little heart stickers because this is the only one I have that has all the moxie yeah. colors on it and start looking and I'm like, okay, well, light red could make February's oh, pink yeah. a little, I like it coordinates a little better. Yeah. So maybe it'll be more palatable. Um, and then like the light purple works really well actually for the March, which is what I was using okay. that two-tone color, um, that bottom At strip least. that I, yeah. yeah. So that one actually matched a lot better than I was anticipating. And then the um, light blue matches with January, I think Probably, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, it was something where I, I got this and then I was like, had that sticker, put it down and was like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, you start jumping from things and you're like, well, I love this sticker, but the color's not exactly right but I know that you have these in your shop mm -hmm. and I can get it in a different color that coordinates yeah. better than mm -hmm. the inkwell colors or whatever. Yeah. Cause the inkwell colors for like February are equally pink. And I was like, I don't want more pink. <laughs> I don't want more pink, but yeah, I can deal I with red. I can live with red. <laughs> so. All February is pink. The funny thing about that, right? Like Fe the th funny thing about February is the weekly pages are pink. But then when you look mm -hmm. at the mission board, it's bluish green. I know. And that's why, I, like, I don't. And she pulled and it's that so weird funny thing. because I don't know. January, March, and April are all periwinkle, light blue, and green. Like, they're very in that mm -hmm. same. So the pink almost, like, when you look at those four months as a whole, I the know. pink from that is weird. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. I don't know. Why. It does not make sense at all. Like there is, no. I could have dealt with like a purple, like a mauve color, uh -huh. like that less, center less hexagon is, mm -hmm. but they went, they pulled real pink on it. Real red. Yeah. And the but other not, thing in, in yeah. April, that's different too, that she did that she is, if you look at April's mission board 
and the mm-hmm. hexagon that has the quote is like a bluish color but then when yeah you go and that, into the that's week, not it's any more teal it's more green yeah so that's kind of random too i remember when we were trying to match colors i'm like well wait a second where that does this one go color is not even on the weekly spread right so sometimes yeah. you know stuff that i just don't understand color yeah and I, I don't know if it's like a she decided she didn't like that color or she wanted a different color i i don't know yeah i have no idea because like the periwinkle color that's in january it's not really on the mission board but it at least feels like a subcategory like color that yeah, it, it feels like it at least matches the hexagons yeah, in a way. I mean, that's probably to me the most cohesive of the yeah, but it's still weird, isn't it? It's like what in the world? Yeah, I mean it's still not really a color on there. Like none of them really are colors that are on the mission board. It is odd when you think and about it. And I think it's so strange too, because like she carries the gray through every single month. So I don't know why you wouldn't just do your bottom boxes as gray. Like, or like your, you said, offer an option, offer the yeah, option. Yeah, or, I mean, I could, I could see you doing the color at the top for the monthly across that yes, strip. That sure. makes sense. And have that be your color coordinating, you know, cohesive mm-hmm. piece. And then do your bottom boxes in grayscale. I feel like that might save you on printing too. Probably. Because <laughs> color, color printing is expensive. Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah. And, and that too, I don't know why she doesn't offer a grayscale because it would save her. I would think, you know, and then she could, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You know, but my pay grade, (laughs) but my pay grade. No one's asking me. So, so. (laughs) yes, no, I would, I would love to see her do that. I I don't know after the years and years of hearing people say that they'd like to see a neutral, I don't think she's going to do it. As Um, much as I wish she would, I don't think she ever will. And I think it's strange that that's the way that she chooses to like, I don't know why that's the one aspect. Like she takes in all this criticism from everyone else for Mm -hmm. so many other aspects. And she hears that and you see where things have changed Mm -hmm. and progressed and grown and, Mm -hmm. and the format has changed for people, you know, even from like the closing off the boxes or changing Mm -hmm. that top border, things like that. But then something that repeatedly has said over and over and over mm-hmm. and over it just gets ignored and I don't understand no. where the correlation is in there yeah I, not- mean, I don't know either it's like one of those things that I try to think well maybe it's it maybe it is one of those things where we it appears that a lot of people want it but then maybe on surveys it's actually not something that comes up a lot maybe yeah, I, mean, I wonder I, I wonder if it's like we're a we're a niche we think like yeah, niche, we're like whatever yeah right. we're like everyone wants this right, why is no one listening to us and it's like it's, right. it's just you it's right. just, it's just you. those five people that are like make it right. scale yeah mm-hmm. I don't know it's interesting I you know I'm really really curious I don't remember if I was talking who I was talking to about with this somebody um I'm really curious to see where Inkwell goes I'm really curious because yeah I wonder because I feel like she's kind of hit a plateau with mm-hmm. the planner aspect mm-hmm. and with so much of her business changing and her moving away from like I don't want to say the planner community necessarily oh, yeah. no, but I she's very much in the business realm now mm-hmm. and so I wonder where ink like how long will Inkwell be around because yeah. from a like a, a planner standpoint yeah no, and, I know what you're saying. you know because she's not really doing the planner thing anymore yeah I you know, know she does all of her own business talks entrepreneurial talks all like she's stuff, got yeah. all the Facebook groups about her leadership and things like that but there is nothing no that planners. exists for her planner no there, there's no groups anymore no active groups that I'm aware no, of not that I know of I mean there used to be a couple like like user ran groups that got mm-hmm. some activity now those don't get any activity anymore. yeah there's no pause on really anything talk about her group is now like the Tanya Dalton like I don't even know what intentional something something yeah and yeah it yeah I get the yeah. notices here and there because yeah. I happen to be in it um but you know it's strange because yeah it is all just like there's no mention of her planner and she doesn't talk about in any of her business no. stuff of like you hey, like you can be a business and like use this this mm-hmm. is your tool I've already done it for you this is this is all you need which I'm surprised she doesn't because like from a business tactic like you have all this stuff that exists 
I know. Why don't you integrate it into your business? Because like that is your business. Your business is yeah, the leadership you. life coach yeah. thing, but no one would know who you are as a business life coach if you didn't if you have the planner and the planner community that like brought you up and mm -hmm. said, hey, we think we what like you have product. to say is worth yeah. something, you know, and you yeah. have a product that people like. So I don't know. The, I don't it's know a either. very weird disconnect that exists. And I've seen it kind of like that chasm, like split mm -hmm. farther and further from her planner to her business, um, especially with the book too. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you read the book. I didn't read or not. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. I mean, I, I got some stuff out of it, yeah. but at the same time, if you're not a business owner, some of it doesn't, it's not relevant. Matter. Yeah. yeah. It's not relevant to like life. Yeah. <laughs> like general, yeah. general life. Um, so it, it just doesn't feel as impactful. Yeah. It's interesting. In yeah. I mean, I'm, I agree with everything you said. I'm really curious to see where she goes. Um, obviously, like you said, she's taking this entrepreneurial leadership thing, mm -hmm. coaching, mentoring, ship, and like, that's great. Mm -hmm. There's part of me that wonders, and I've speculated this with other, other people that use Inkwell, if Inkwell will be sold off to another major company. I wonder. And that's, but I don't of, know I don't who would take it away. away. I would just be curious if she sold it to another major printing company or had somebody else do it. Right. But then I think about that. I wonder, cause like, I know paper quality would go down probably because yeah. I think about like, um, who was it, uh, that used to have really good paper quality and then they, uh, day designer maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was, was yeah. originally privately owned if I'm not yep, mistaken. It was. Yep. And the paper quality, when they went to major printing and were bought by, was it blue sky? Maybe um, yeah, goes there or something right. like that. I don't know. Um, the paper quality is, mm -hmm. and that's the reason I, cause I used to buy day designer in okay. Target. My yeah. mom did like years and years ago when day designer yeah. was big, more privately yeah. owned. Yep. Um, and the quality was way higher, but now I don't buy those. Cause you can literally see through those pages. See through the paper. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a paper snob at the end of the day. Well, yeah, especially with planners, you yeah, like, yeah. And you do, you have this quality that you expect and you want, and then you get stuff like that's like cloth and paper. Um, Moxie life is the same. It's really high quality paper mm -hmm. because it's privately printed. And there's a reason that you're paying a premium for yeah. it. And I'm okay paying a premium because yeah. I want nice paper. Yep. At the end of the day, I, I want nicer paper. I don't want a $10 planner yep. that is tissue paper. Yep. So I'll spend extra agreed, you know, and I think most planner people are that way. Yeah. You, know, you will buy quality over quantity a mm -hmm. hundred times out of the week. Yeah. So yeah, I worry that if she would sell the company to a major printer, what direction they would go. Mm -hmm. Um, and what kind of quality we would see. I, I think it would, if she did, I think it would Dang. probably be the end of a lot of us using it. I know. Yeah. As I don't, unfortunate I, as it is. It's really curious to see, it'll be interesting to see where she goes. It'll be curious to see if she does an academic this year, because that'll probably be coming out in the next couple of months then, right? June-ish probably. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 April. Mm -hmm. I think she starts doing sneak peeks for it in like May. Yeah, that's probably right. Yeah. So it'll be, I'm curious to see. Yeah. I mean, hey, it's her company. She can do whatever she wants, but. Right, right. I mean, we're just the peons in the back. Right, we just buy it. <laughs> Right. I just, you know, I just buy it. I, I just use it. It's fine. Yeah. But I wonder, cause I, you know, I think if that were it, to be the case, what I would probably do is I'd probably buy like a bunch you know, of them and redate few, it. Yeah. I'd buy a few years worth of inserts and then I would, I would retrofit them with new yep. dates mm -hmm. and, and, you know, sticker companies like you guys would come out with covers, covers. Mm -hmm. that cover over it. Yeah. you know, for new years, it's like, you guys would come out with a 2022 yeah. Yeah. date covers for the whole thing, just to retrofit over your old one. Yeah. If she were, cause that's, that's what yeah. I would do as a consumer, unless I thought she was going to a printing company that, that would, would keep the quality, keep the quality. Yeah. Yeah. If that yeah. was like contractually something that she that put in there to it, say, if to... you buy my company, it has to continue yes. to be printed on 180 pound GSM, right. period. Like, 
mm-hmm. then sure, I'd roll with it. Yeah, exactly. I'd see where I, I'd roll with it and see yeah. what happens. But the paper quality is, you know, it's that's one of the biggest reasons I use Equal. Mm-hmm. It's not just the sides. It's not just the vertical versus horizontal or whatever. Right. It's it, it's a huge part of why I buy Equal mm-hmm. is because of the paper quality, yeah. which seems silly, but it's not when you're talking to planner people. Cause I know anyone who's watching this video on <laughs> replay is going to be like, really yeah, videos. paper quality. It's all that matters. Forget everything else. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the truth. You know, like people that aren't in this little planner subculture thing, they're like, mm-hmm. why would you spend this much on a planner? But if you do like paper, that's pens, healthy. pens are the same way. Yeah. People are real picky about their pens. Yeah. Like which ones you use, which ones you don't. Yep. I mean, us planner people are a little weird when it comes to this. I was going to say your, your, uh, ink joys, aren't you? That's the only thing I will use. I use ink joys and frictions. I used to That's use it. friction too, but yeah, I can't, when I go to like a bank, I use the friction because I, I erase too erase, much. Yeah. When yeah. I like go somewhere and I have to use a ballpoint pen, I'm like, Oh, this is so disgusting. <laughs> like what yeah, is Yeah. Unless they're like, ironically, the really, really, really cheap Bic pens. <laughs> are nice. They're nice quality. I don't care what anyone says. Fight me on it. They're nice. <laughs> if you want a really, really cheap quality That's funny. Big pen, those like plastic ones yeah. that just shatter. Those, those are, are all right. That's I can funny. roll with those. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's awesome. Like the original, like the original pen. The original pen. I don't know what those the books are. Pen that yeah. was ever made. The first one that's like uh, that big ball pen that everyone, everyone knows. Yeah. Oh, that's, 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 that's the one. That's so funny. <laughs> yep. Oh my God. Well, this was awesome. Thank you so much, Maggie. It was so fun. Yeah, absolutely, Jess. It was a, it was a pleasure, you know, talking to you and kind of getting to know you as a person too. Yeah. You know, and it's having cool. these conversations. It's fun. I think it's so interesting to see how everyone kind of uses their planner yeah. and like talking, to, like listening to Barb really like sparks some thoughts of like, cool. how am I planning that I could do better? Yeah. Like, how can I evolve yeah. my planner to be more functional? Mm-hmm. And, you know, some of the things that she said, really like they resonate and there was yeah. little things where I was like oh like the the habit planner yeah. or the habit tracker how silly like something so little that like, I was like uh, that brilliant. makes more sense why yeah. would I not do that yeah and I have the ability to so you know it makes more sense to yeah. do it so it's like little things where you're like oh I would have never would have never, would have thought, never thought to use yeah. it that way and that's what's the cool thing about doing this is like I said to you guys in the group is you know if you followed me or watched any of my videos like my life isn't that exciting. I use my planner the same every week. So to get Mm -hmm. you guys to share is so helpful because maybe something you do is something I would never have done that. Like you said, you got an idea from listening to like my conversation with Barb, it just opens up the ideas because people's lifestyles are so different. So Mm -hmm. it's very nice to be able to have this opportunity for people to share. Yeah. And I think Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's fun to do it over a video because it's more of a conversation like we're doing now. And sometimes writing a writing something on a face group feels dry. Yeah. Like it, it feels like you, you don't really get to see that interaction or the, yes. the conversation that goes behind it or like the thought process yes. of like, well, I do this and this is why sometimes communicating that in a Facebook post is so hard. Is so much harder Yeah. to just be like, oh, well I use it this way. And like, you just show someone, Yeah. you know, it's it, that there's no context. Like you said, there's no why mm-hmm. this is so much more helpful to have heard you go through. Like, this is why I use this. This is who I get this from. This has been my process. And it really puts it in context. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it, it, it was kind of going back to that. What do you tell someone who's new to mm-hmm. your sticker shop or new to planners in general? It's like, I think all of us think our lives are kind of boring but they're so incredibly different from everyone else's because you're the one living it, not someone else. So so true. Yeah. Like planning is so personal, but it's like things that like Barb does. I would never be able to do. I I would never be able to do what she does. And you know, like, but the style, like we still both plan. Yeah. It's so interesting. It doesn't change. Like that aspect doesn't change, but the way that we do it because we are different people is so incredibly different. And that's just part of the process. So I think it's so interesting to watch people and how like having these conversations and seeing these videos, how people plan things really sparks that kind of creative joy. And it kind of makes you excited to plan all over again, because I know, at least for me, sometimes it gets stale and you're like, I don't want to plan this week because it's the same four shifts and he's going to go to the daycare and we're going to eat the same four meals and 
<laughs> you know, bills are due on the same day every month. Like there's no, there's nothing exciting about certain things, yeah. like certain aspects of our life, but you know, you still got to write them down That's true. so you don't forget, you know, little yeah. things. So, or, or even to look back on and be like, oh, I, well, I did that I did on that, that day. Right. You yeah. know, stuff like that, where it's like, you need it, but you don't really realize you need it until you do. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. You know, I know what so you mean. it's interesting yeah, to see how people, uh, kind of live their lives and kind of put it on mm-hmm. paper. Cause it's different. It is. It is different for everyone. Definitely. Well, cool. Well, I will let you go. Thank you so okay. much for hanging out Absolutely. with me. Absolutely. Sure. Sure. Yeah. If you get a chance, will you send me an email with just like a snapshot of one of your spreads and I'm going to kind of like recreate, you can like cover up any like private information. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. I'll try to like recreate it for the picture, for the thumbnail, for the video. Okay. Sounds good. All right, Maggie. Have a good day. Thanks, Jess. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.